हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पी एस एम स्पीक यूनिफाइड पेंशन स्कीम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अप्रूव इट्स कैबिनेट अप्रूव दिस ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर अगस्त टू बेनिफिट इट सेस ट्वेंटी थ्री लैक एम्प्लॉज बट इज इट रियली ए वरफुल स्कीम सो एक्साइटिंग that uh, employees are very happy with this as is being claimed by the government and some others also yes some do say that it is really beneficial highly beneficial to the employees the national council's joint consultative machinery said it's really a great achievement of the employees it congratulates the employees of central government but others do not totally agree this the center for indian trade union says it's not at all beneficial to the employees on the contrary it is deceptive it says in a press note it is in the interest of speculative crony capital the additional contribution of 4.5% from the government only to further its investment of pension funds of rupees 10 lakh 53850 crores called asset under management aum and this fund belongs to 9977165 employees the figures as of 31 july 2024 the bank employees federation of india also said the same thing that it is deceiving the employees it's not going to benefit them yes by pension pension in the government what do we understand the government employees their job is so secure even post retirement they get pension equal to half their last drawn salary and their families also get pension if some unfortunate thing happening to the employee in case of their demise dependent spouse the family gets pension this is what is understood true but this was there in practice of course it is still there for those people who are recruited prior to 2004 in 2004 the government under mr atal bihari was a peace uh, prime minister she felt that this is not going to be feasible the employees getting pension without any contribution we have to underscore this without any contribution employees required to pay no contribution from out of their salaries for pension fund yet they used to get pension amount equal to half their salary now after this new pension the national pension system nps people started protesting the employees all over the country said no the benefit which they had been enjoying was far superior than the new thing that the government brought in in 2000 for they wanted restoration of it the pressure has been building on the government become intense when people started retiring under the new scheme national pension system which to be brief the national pension system is collecting contributions from the employees in the beginning it was 10% from employees and equal from government of india the employer or the state government wherever this was implemented this amount was pooled under pension fund and invested in the stock markets 
depending upon the yield from the market the employees were given benefit lump sum part of the money accumulated and then part as annuities so what they required to pay towards the fund was well defined 10% 10% of course the government share increased subsequently to 14% now under the new system that unified pension scheme it wants to increase it to 18.5% all right so the amount from the employees and employers putting in the pension fund investing it so nowhere this was comparable to the old pension and that's why there has been agitation so the government came up with an idea following the recommendation of a committee it set up a year back under mr t b somanathan who is going to be the cabinet secretary that time he was the finance secretary and a his chairmanship the committee suggested a new scheme okay the pension is not defined so let us define it 50% of uh, the salary basic 12 months average and minimum pension of uh, 10000 rupees and so on then why objection why opposing views i briefly give to you the salient points of the the newest pension scheme unified pension scheme or ups and you make your own judgment whether it is superior to the existing pension schemes or it is worse firstly it is a contributory pension employees have to contribute 10% out of their salaries every month and old pension scheme no such contribution so is this can this be a better scheme then 50% of 12 months average under ups whereas under the old pension scheme it is 50% of the last month salary before retirement or 10 months average whichever is higher if somebody's wages go down in the month when they are retiring they would get lower pension if only last month is taken to protect the interest of the employees the old pension scheme contained a rule that it should be either this or that whichever is beneficial as again is this it is only 12 months average which means even an employee whose salary for some reason is high on the month in which the employee is retiring because 10 months average is taken the pension would be less than what it would be in the ops scheme so now you tell me if uh, the scheme is superior now there is minimum pension of uh, 10000 rupees as it is the pension side they say the minimum is 9000 and others have worked out and said that when this comes into force the ups april 2025 then the minimum would be without this change some 14000 rupees let us discuss about this later so it is not beneficial now family pension is 60% 60% of this lowered amount so that is also not going to be attractive compared to old pension scheme let's go into details a little later on this point also the full pension under ups is available after 25 years of service 
but the existing eligible service under old pension scheme is only 20 years so straight away this is not a superior scheme on this count so overall it looks that this hybrid pension or unified of the two earlier schemes is not beneficial now let's see what the CITU which objected to this UPS further says under UPS family pension is 60% of pension that is 60% of 50% it means 30% of last pay for 25 years of service at the time of superannuation for employees with minimum pension of 10,000 rupees it will be 60% of it only 6,000 rupees so the minimum pension of rupees 10,000 applies only to superannuation and not to family pension read this carefully under OBS family pension 50% of last pay if the pensioner dies before 7 years after retirement or before 67 years of age the minimum pension as of 1 4 2025 will be rupees 14,130 but in UPS family pension it will be only 6,000 rupees look at this provision how the old pension scheme is more beneficial to the senior citizens as they advance in age again from the CITU's press note in OPS if the pensioner or family pensioner completed 80 years of age additional pension of 20 percent for 85 years 30 percent for 90 years 40 percent 95 years 50 percent and 100 years 100 percent commutation of pension withdrawal of 40 percent of pension in advance available in OPS is not available in UPS this is what the Bank Employees Federation of India has got to say this is from its uh, press note we consider that this is an utterly deceptive move of the government as UPS is not comparable to the benefits of OPS Bank Employees are afraid of the move of the government coming out with an inferior pension scheme they have ground to be scared of look at what bank employees federation of india got to say the nps for bank employees and officers joining banking service on or after first april this was imposed on them in the meantime the bankers contribution to the nps was increased from 10 percent to 14 percent copying the government's increasing its share of contribution under national pension system to 14 percent any unfavorable thing to the employees that the government is implementing that is modeled by the banking industry and others here the new pension scheme instead of old pension scheme in banking industry government is supposed to be an ideal employer whereby the private sector should copy the government unfortunately government is not doing this it should not only give better wages allowances retiral benefits but should make the private sector follow suit it says 10,000 minimum pension in one of our videos I have shown about 75 lakh 60 thousand employees in the private sector retired from private sector get the employees provident fund pension how much a meager poultry sum not sufficient for living 50 percent of these pensioners get close to 50 percent something like 1000 rupees and less they will clamoring for raising the minimum pension and we have recommended in one of our videos to 10,000 rupees 
what the government proposes to do to its employees now under UPS. So, on the whole, employees are not happy. All India Defence Employees Federation wants to intensify its agitation. It's not even politically a correct decision to Modi government now. The non-BJP governments, they are moving towards OPS and Congress is promising this if it comes into power. So governments taking to its stand on contributory pension, not restoring OPS, is not going to be feasible. The employees all over the country are restive. They are agitating for old pension. Better the government reconsiders this and discards its idea of bringing newer and newer pensions and this newest pension scheme UPS also it can work out a model to give 50% less drunk salary to the employees in the private sector after all it is a contributory pension under employees provident fund scheme that can suitably work out to provide decent pension 50% of the salary to the retired persons. Thank you so much for so patiently watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. As you know subscription is free but it greatly encourages me to get to you more videos of this type and more frequently. Thank you.